not a good pass by the veteran Carlton defender, but Cook and Rivers is good enough to gather it in. Well played to Martins Carlton. Back to within 11 points of Essendon at the moment. 60 to 7. Reed. Mark taken by Corkamilis. Short pass. Harms. Corkamilis. Up to full forward and ditch burn. Oh, missed it. It's pretty slippery. Oh, he gets Collard. Rush through. Or is it a free kick? To pick it up. Eventually succeeds in so doing. Over to Corkamilis. Carlton's best player, I thought, in the first half. Long kick back there towards the. Uh... McMahon, the backing up well again is Cork Amelis, nearly the best player on the ground. I'd say the best player on the ground. A lovely out that time. Parrish's kick is not a good one. Down goes uh, Cork Amelis again. There's no doubt about the flying Greek. He certainly goes after the ball, doesn't he? Certainly does. Set about Hunter on the boundary line. Looks for a teammate and finds Cork Amelis. It was a beautiful little play on the part of Hunter that time because he could have easily gone for the goals, like a lot of players would, feet, but he spotted Cork Amelis. And uh, rammed it right down his throat. Let's take a look at it again. And you'll see Hunter right on the boundary line. Get it back to the Carlton centre man and he takes the mark. He's about 15 metres out from goal and he's put it through for one goal. So Corker Mivis his first goal, Carlton's third. They get off to a good start in the second quarter, 3-4-22 to the Lions, 1-7-13. And Carlton swing back into attack now, looking there for Bazasto, off the top of the pack. Corkamilis with a snap for goal. And that's a beautiful kick by Corkamilis. His second. And the flying Greeks got another one. Two goals to four of Corkamilis and Carlton, 4-5-29 to Fitzroy, 2-7-19. It's out there towards Reese jones Dill goes the punts. It hits the deck. And this will be uh, holding the ball against the Swans. Against Carter. And the free kick to go to Corkamilis about uh, 50 metres out from goal. Still in trouble, Buckley. Short pass. Left unattended this time, Ditchburn. Carter left him alone. And, of course, he's got a chance now from about 35 metres out directly in front. Buckley coming off the ground. Now, Reed will come back on. Well, he wasn't off for very long, was he? Waiting now on... Uh, Ditchburn to kick the Blues' first goal for the quarter. The kick. That's a fine kick and it's a goal to the Blues. Knocked away by Brady, thumped away by English to Corkamilis. A little bit short of right half back, up the centre wing, looking for Mark Buckley and finds him in front of Dennis Carroll. Buckley had cramp in the third quarter, had to leave the field momentarily. Two goals, three, Lou. Two goals, three. So it's been uh, the Blues all the way as Morwood's grabbed and the umpire says play on. Corkamilis gets another. Takes the kick out from fullback. In front is Perovic and it comes down towards Corkamilis, who dummies well. Then the kick up towards half court and Ditchburn, too fast for more, has been all day. He's a fair way from goal. As I mentioned previously, a very accurate kick, though. He's gone for the short pass on his own, Corkamilis. And he would be 40 metres out from goal on a slight angle and a chance to put another one on the board for Carlton. Spiro Korkamilis, centre man. Probably played more senior games this season than he has in any other. Well, he took plenty of time with the kick. The end result is a goal to Carlton. Corker Mills is second, and Carlton answered the challenge. Scores on seventh big league, 13 12 90. Carlton, Hawthorne, 11 11, 77. Takes the kick out from fullback. In front is Perovic, and it comes down towards Corker Mills. Plenty of possessions. Ditchburn a short pass. Bad defence from Hawthorne. And Corker Mills has the easiest shot at goal. He'll get all done. Well, here comes the Golden Greek now. Whether he can kick this goal, it's a matter of opinion. And if he missed, I think he'd be off the ground again. He's had a couple of goes so far. Corkamilis from uh, 10 metres out. Be a goal anyway. The umpire had blown the whistle. If uh, it hadn't been a goal, he would have got another choice because the Hawthorne player had crossed the mark. It's 20 points the difference. Well, Carlton's certainly looking a lot better now with Carlton. Four goals, nine, 33. Ashman to Corkamilis. 
short pass up towards right half forward. Knocked out by Byrne, doing well on the ruck. Back to Cork Amila, spins out of the pack nicely, hooks the ball. Out it comes now, a chance for Ramsey to pick it up. He's put off balance that time by Mark Azani. A good hand pass. Cork Amila to Bazasto, a snap for goal. And this looks good, it's a goal. At the moment, we probably shouldn't play. There's 13 goals up. Cork Amilis has the run from the back and takes the mark. Comes now, across to the centre. Cork Amilis completely clear on his own. Could have had a bounce, but goes for the pass, and a beautiful pass finds Ditchburn. Cork Amilis. Essendon playing the better at the moment. Cork Amilis has not goaled to date. Big crowd in excess of 60,000 hushed as he goes goalwards with a long kick, a good kick for goal too by Spiro and Carlton greatness to their eighth goal. They move to 8-4, 50. Oh, cleverly gets it back. This is Ditchburn now back on the ground. Hand pass into Basusto. Landy charges after him. Back it comes to Ditchburn. Another hand pass to Cork Amilis. He lines up the goals. He fires and this could be a goal. It is. Great play by Carlton. In the back pocket. Austin puts the ball towards the wing. Over the top, we saw Laurie. The loose ball picked up by Cork Amilis. A hand pass on. Puts it towards centre wing. Neither Perovic nor side bottom could gain possession. Marku playing the ball forward. Good turn of speed. Now a hand pass on to Cork Amilis. He's got plenty of time to steady and go forward. Right through the centre. Carlton two points in front. Seven's big league showing you all the action from VFL Park. Marku to Cork Amilis was a good goal. Ground good, weather good, no wind. And Cork Amilis driving Carlton forward. Ashman's the target, and Ashman takes the mark. Ashman can see Big Madden there. Look at this season at home, only having won one game. At the centre, Cork Amilis brings it out. He's going to bounce badly. The player, Hunter has mobility, he has everything. Cork Amilis gets it out. Raskett is the target. Raskett goes again by Neville Nass right in the goal square the Ruckman are there it's down to the ground or oh, was that too high it was set the field up by Neville Nass to Cork Amilis directly in front this will be another goal no doubt to Carlton because he is directly in front about 10 metres out yeah it's be hard to miss from here but we have seen the miss of course but I doubt very much if we'll see this one miss Carlton have missed that many have hit the post on two occasions Cork Amilis going for another goal here his first. There it goes through the centre. The Carlton fans are happy. The Swans fans aren't too bright. Carlton lead by 16 points on seven. Well, that was close to a free kick to Glasgow. Yes, Johnston. Oh, Cork and Mealis. Once he gets around the umpire, he'll score. And he's put it through for a goal. Two goals to Spiro. And Carlton go further ahead. 16 6. What amazing kicking. 102. Hawthorne 12 15 87. And we're just on the six minute mark of this last quarter. Carlton back 15 points. And that time his uh, English out to Cork Amelis. He takes the mark at half back. Carlton too strong. Points to Hawthorne 35. Just over the 29 minute mark. In a tough first quarter. There's Cork Amelis having a pot shot for goal over there to West. I think he's put it through. Yes, a goal. Well, that dribbled through from about uh, 20 metres out. So it's five goals, 5.30.